a walk through the peaceful city of Malang, Indonesia. What you see is what you get. People living by the river, going about their life. I have no idea what's gonna come into my field of vision here and the lens of this camera. But I'm sharing with you what I see. Lovely, peaceful Indonesian people. A city far away from the capital, the island of, uh, the island of Java. People's home by the river. It was raining hard last night. It's now nice and sunny, perfectly blue skies. This is the best part of traveling. Everything and anything is unfamiliar. You're not walking down the same street, seeing the same shops, seeing the same familiar people. You don't have to say hello to anyone. Every step you take is on a new road, on a new sidewalk, seeing new people, new things, new shops, new experiences, different ways of life, different foods, different religion different culture thank God for that what a terrible life it would be if you uh, experienced only one way of life all your life what a terrible prison that would be people always ask how do you manage to travel <laughs> I remember I was working in corporate America and uh, my co-workers were obsessed with which team won last weekend and where they were going to go next weekend to what bar to get drunk. And they would ask me, why don't you come with us? I said, no, I booked my trip to, at that time, I guess I was going to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And they said, you make the same money as we do. This is back when I was working in the corporate world. How do you manage to travel around the world? Well, at that time I told them I don't go to bars and spend $150 on drinks that I'm gonna urinate the next morning. I spend it on meaningful things, things that are gonna stay with me when I'm old and gray. And that is true with anything else in your life, no matter how much money you make. If you want something to happen in your life, make it a priority, like I've said before. Make that thing that you love a, a, a priority in your life. And sacrifice everything else towards accomplishing that uh, priority and you will accomplish it. It's a guarantee. It's a, it's a mathematical certainty. It's, uh, really as simple as that and if you want a life living in the same city all your life and you're happy with going to bars and getting drunk and getting obsessed with what team won what game i'm not putting anyone down if that's your thing god be with you do it but if you want an adventurous life of traveling around the world and affording yourself the best education by far which is gained through world travel there is no substitution for it then you can do that too and how you do it by making it your priority i remember i'll leave you with this story i remember i was working again in, in corporate america another office another time and i had a picture of the car that i wanted pinned with those push pins on the wall of my uh cubicle and the lady i'll never forget her name her name was miss lefkovitz and the lady said what's that i said oh this is the car of my dreams she looked at me as she was giving me i was just starting that job she looked at me as she was giving me the office uh, supplies that i need for my desk and she said you know if you really really want it you'll have it and she was 100 percent correct i am telling you ladies and gentlemen the good people of the world whatever it is that you want if you really, really want it, you will have it.
let interpret that as you wish be it material things be it uh, let's say losing weight if you really really want it you'll have it next time you're really hungry i'm just using this as an example next time you're really really hungry and you want to just eat something voracious and you look at the choice of foods that's when the decision comes which one do you want more do you want to satisfy your appetite or do you want to be thin if you really really want to be thin you know what to do the people who don't have what they want and uh, look at others with envy and anger and try to put them down for having accomplished what they never could are the people who are able to resist and make the right choices and maintain the focus of what they want always in front of their eyes like standing at that buffet what am i going to go for the pizza or the salad that is it there is no secret solution if you haven't listened to my videos before i'm tell you again i have friends from all walks of life from a struggling taxi driver to billionaires with offices and mansions in multitude of countries around the world and i listen to them and what they say, no matter what industry they're in, is no different from each other. You have to maintain focus on what you want and you have to be willing to pay the price. Like Ms. Lefkovic said, if you really, really want it, you'll have it. God be with you. Signing out from Malang, Indonesia. Until I see you in another place, another city, wherever God takes me wherever the metal bird takes me. God be with you.